guys welcome back to my channel my name is claire i am your friendly pharmacist today i'll be talking about cabagolin there are several brands of cabagolin let me know the brands in your area in the comment section if you don't know what to put there just let me know the brands that are available in your area so cabagolin has a very wonderful way of working in that it binds to d2 receptors and helps to decrease levels of prolactin hence it's used in hyperprolactinemia if you are taking cabagolin, there are some medications that should be avoided. The first one are migraine medications, in that it increases the toxicity of these medications. Secondly, some antidepressants like your lanzepine are affected by cabagolin. Some antibiotics, some antivirals help to increase or decrease the levels of cabagolin in the body. And also, lastly, the last thing I'll be mentioning in this video, there are so many drugs that can interact with cabagolin. But the last one I'll talk about is pseudoephedrine because it's commonly it's commonly found in Actifed, which is used in people that have um, allergies, cold, common cold, and the likes. So this pseudoephedrine should not be taken together with carbagolim in that it increases the chances of one having hypertension. So if you're on any of these medications, it is best to discuss with your specialist. With regards to the side effects associated with cabagolin, we have dizziness, headache, nausea, as you feel like vomiting, postural hypertension, depression, tiredness, constipation, and a whole lot of side effects. Moving on to warnings. Firstly, if you have liver disease, then you shouldn't be taking this medication. If you are allergic to egg gut preparations, how you will know you are allergic to egg gut? Your prescriber will ask you, whenever you take cafe gut, how do you react? So based on that, based on your feedback on that, even if you've never taken egg guts, the moment you take cabagolin and you notice that you are allergic to it, just report back to your prescriber. The beauty of this medication is even a weekly medication. So once you just take it, maybe every Monday, bam, you're good to go for the week. <laughs> I love this medication. That is that is that long acting like it's long acting like that. Okay, so thirdly, if you're pregnant or if you're a nursing mother because it will inhibit the flow of breast milk. And lastly, if you have uncontrolled hypertension, then this medication is not for you. So that's that with regards to the warnings. The best advice I have for you today is that when taking this medication, if you feel dizzy, then you shouldn't operate heavy machineries or any activity that requires high mental alertness. Those activities should be avoided while taking this medication. And lastly, when standing up or sitting down, if you experience postural hypertension, then you should sit or stand slowly. Yeah, so you don't feel, you don't have that fainty feeling and all that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.